called the seat belt. To use it, just insert the medical equipment in the buckle to release. Lift up on the upper portion of the buckle will release. The seat belt should be worn the same way that some of the ladies wore their pants in the 60s, low and tight across those hips. That style's coming back. Six ways to get off the aircraft. Two doors in the front, two going in the middle, and two all the way towards the back. Each and every door is a red and white sign overhead saying exit Salida and glow in the dark strips down the center. I will show you to get to an exit as well. Extremely cheesy pictures are in the seat back pocket in front of you on a passenger safety information card that you'll never look at. But should you look at it, you'll see that if we find water between here and Boise, right. there's a flotation device directly underneath the seat. Fast to do so by a flight attendant, move the life vest around the pouch, place the life vest over your head, and then grab that strap, wrap it around your slender little hips, buckle in the front, and secure it up tightly. And then when you get outside the aircraft, standing next to a yucca plant, saguaro cactus, or any bush between here and there, pull down with the tab, and that will automatically make tighter blow of the tube at your shoulder, and then just hang it on the arm of the cactus when you're done. There's no water out there. This is a non-smoking, non-complaining, and non-wanting flight. No matter if it's medicinal, you can't smoke inside an aircraft, cabin, or laboratory. So federal law prohibits tampering with, disabling, and destroying any laboratory smoke detectors in our unspacious laboratories on either end of the aircraft. This laboratory up front here has a smoke detector on it that if you tamper with it, it's a $2,500 fine. If you want to spend $2,500 for flying the holidays, you probably fly on America. <laughs> then you'd probably go through Detroit, whatever be delayed, pay for baggage, all that fun stuff. Thanks for flying Southwest, you smart passengers. Federal aviation regulations do require compliance with lighted passenger information signs. Supposed to flag up throughout the cabin on crew member instructions pertaining to use of seat belts and smoking. Your flight attendants want to make sure that you and your neighbors are safe. So as we do walk through, we want to make sure all of your baggage is underneath the seat for departure with seat backs and tray tables in their full upright lock position for the safety of your neighbors. And the fun part, breathing. We never anticipate changes in temperature, but should the unlikely event occur, four oxygen masks will appear above each and every row. Reach up and down on those masks till the tube is fully extended. Then just stop screaming, let go of your neighbor, place the mask over your nose and mouth, secure it on with the elastic straps, and breathe normally. The bag does not inflate, but you will, so just keep inflating yourself until a crew member tells you it's no longer necessary because you might pop. If you are traveling with a child, put the oxygen on yourself first, then onto your child or husband, whoever acts more like a child will opening Christmas gifts. That's it. The do's and don'ts, sit back, relax, or lean forward and stay tense. Your choice. Thanks for choosing Southwest on our way to beautiful Boise, Idaho. Woo -hoo.